Hi everybody, my name is Uji Sarkans and today I'll talk to you about our Express and uh, Biostudies databases. Uh, so what are they? Um, Array Express, um, uh, it was established more than 20 years ago, uh, and then initially for microarraying expression data. Uh, then since around 2008, uh, we were able to accept RNA-seq-based experiments as that technology uh, gradually uh, overtook uh, microarrays in popularity. Associated with that, we started brokering data to ENA, the European Nucleotide Archive. And uh, well, Era Express uh, has been uh, an LC, a core data resource uh, since uh, the very beginning. Uh, currently, there are more than 77,000 data sets and, and a significant number of unique users per month. Uh, a couple of uh, points I wanted to mention in the sense of what, what we have learned from, from this more than 20 years worth of experience. So one, one of the things that we did early on, uh, we had uh, minimal information about the microarray experiment, Miami guidelines. I think that that's a, that's a very well-known uh, concept. If we look in uh, fair sharing and query uh, in the standard section by minimum or minimal, uh, we find more than 100 entries. Uh, uh, that uh, I, I think most of them have been inspired by, by the Miami work. Uh, so then we also... Uh, had to um, establish a data, data data encoding, data sharing format. Uh, the initial attempt uh, was called MajorML, an XML-based uh, language, and uh, this is sort of a conceptual representation of of the of of that model. That was very too complex, and uh, and eventually, MageTab, a spreadsheet-based uh, language, was uh, established as as a as a means to both capture and distribute uh, functional uh, genomics uh, data sets. Uh, so that's a quick introduction about Array Express. So now, BioStudies. Uh, BioStudies is is a is an archive a TBI. Um, uh, for packaging and publishing research data, uh, aiming to facilitate transparency and reproducibility of, of research. So we we capture data via a variety of routes uh, from individual scientists, uh, from collaborative projects, uh, from other data resources. Uh, then the, the model of biostudies is, is quite simple. The main concepts are uh, metadata fields, uh, data files that that we manage internally inside BioStudies, uh, as well as links to associated data in in other databases, either a TBI or externally. Um, we acquire uh, data into BioStudies via a variety of routes. Uh, it, it helps to overlay those on top of the life of research data uh, of uh, timeline uh, where, uh, well, initially there is no narrative. Uh, data, data, cap data gathering is in pro progress. Uh, scientific data sets are being uh, uh, generated. We, we collaborate on a number of projects uh, already in that very early stage uh, and and the data data sets are being deposited into biostudies and then the release to public uh, when the associated manuscript is published is, is very straightforward. Well then when when manuscript is in preparation so then we also uh, uh, enable uh, scientists to deposit uh, data uh, to to link to to portions of data that uh, that they have elsewhere in other community accepted uh, databases. Um, we we also support the Bioimage Archive and uh, and uh, uh, annotate for functional uh, genomics uh, data needs, and that that will be the main uh, main. Um, 
the subject of my talk. And then after the paper has been published, we also have a, a number of pipelines for, uh, um, for packaging the associated data. Um, uh, the BioStudy is browse view that's uh, quite self-explanatory. Uh, we have a concept of data collections. Uh, Faceted search is, is supported, uh, and, and facets uh, can change depending on the on the data collection, uh, and and we also uh, support uh, ontology uh, um, assisted search, and we use the experimental factor ontology, uh, as well as sort of uh, more complex uh, um, searches compared to just a single keyword, for example. The data can be downloaded if there are lots of data files. In this particular example, more than 30,000 data sets, uh, data files, uh, each of them are annotated by a number of um, um, fields that describe what a particular file means. Uh, so, so users uh, have an opportunity to select the, 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 the set of, of data files that are interesting for them and then the download uh, is is offered by a variety of routes a zip file ftp asper uh, we recently also added globus uh, downloads uh, and there is there is an api of course where uh, well usually there is a three-stage process uh, retrieve uh, json description of of the entire data set retrieve if, if there are lots of files associated with that data set uh, retrieve uh, file descriptions and then retrieve individual files um, we have a data submission tool uh, that enables uh, flexible annotation capabilities for data sets um, a variety of ways to upload data also ftp aspera in future globus not yet but that is coming as well as uh, through, through the http and the, the web form um, the metadata in addition to uh, being able to capture metadata via web forms there is also metadata file upload functionality and and we we can uh, uh, configure templates for, for different domains and projects uh, and and um, therefore uh, facilitating uh, capturing uh, useful uh, useful fair metadata. So now uh, I'm going to to talk more about the Array Express uh, and and Annotaire. So so all this work is in collaboration with Irene Papa Theodoro's team, the Gene Expression team at EBI. Uh, they they maintain build. Uh, and run the annotaire data submission tool, uh, as well as the associated curation processes, uh, and then uh, and then the data sets are are de deposited uh, into the biostudies in what we now call Array Express collection in biostudies. Um, so how did uh, how did that uh, that happen? So this is a screenshot of of uh, of the. Array Express specific user interface that we uh, use to develop and run, and and uh, all the functionality uh, that we offered for data access, uh, all that was also available in BioStudies. And so this is the same view in in BioStudies, where we have uh, only Array Express uh, data sets uh, selected and. Uh, uh, and then if we, if we go into a single data set rendering, uh, well, the, the mage, mage tab is, although, as I mentioned, we have complicated, uh, we, we have uh, simplified over the years uh, uh, the, the data set description. It, it still remains uh, quite a uh, relatively uh, complex metadata standard. So using the, the generic uh, functionality of, of how biostudies uh, can support complex metadata descriptions, we could essentially experiment in the process of, of transferring, uh, migrating from the custom made Array Express to Array Express collection in BioStudies. We could, uh, we could uh, 
work on 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 finding what's what's an op optimal way to represent that metadata for the users sort of how how do we how do we show what for a particular study what the experimental factors are what sources what, what sources and samples were used and how they are related to uh, to the data files um so we have uh, we have uh, so, um, options to to render uh, hierarchies and, and tables as a part of the, of of a dataset metadata. So now I also mentioned the Bioimage Archive, and uh, that's that's uh, Matthew Hartley, my colleague at EBI, runs the Bioimage Archive team, and and this is a single uh, dataset in the Bioimage Archive. Uh, and uh, well, it's, it sort of uh, uh, looks uh, looks uh, very familiar after seeing the previous slide. The reason is that the BioStudies uh, supports also the bi BioImage Archive, and and we use the same the same data set uh, uh, rendering uh, um, principles. Um, and then in in bioimaging. Uh, a few years ago, we published a paper called Rembi, Recommended Metadata for Bioimaging, where a, a, a group of, uh, of experts uh, came together and agreed uh, that, uh, that it's, uh, well, first of all, that it's important to capture uh, good quality metadata uh, for imaging. And 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 then also what what the concepts are and how they are interlinked. So so that was that's that's similar to Miami really. And then while well, using the the bio studies uh, uh, flexibility, um, here I'm showing a screenshot of the submission tool. We could well the Biomage Archive team could quite quickly implement the the RMB metadata guidelines so that uh, so that uh, people can start actually uh, submitting data uh, uh, into the bioimage archive so why why biostudies works for a, for a variety of, of data sets so we have a generic underlying data model when we have a robust scalable in implementation and then associated services that are typical for a range of, of life sciences data repositories and, and most of them I already mentioned data file uploads and downloads by, by a variety of, of protocols uh, the same uh, applies to metadata data life cycle support um, uh, access for reviewers, warning users about the upcoming public release, and so on, as well as integration into the larger scientific ecosystem, orchids and uh, research organization registry integration. Uh, so, so we we support the data collection concept, and and uh, on the data access side, so we can uh, implement quite easily collection specific search uh, facets if uh, that is. Uh, required if, if we look at, at the data resource life cycle uh, so, so these are the terms usually that we, we use at ebi where a data resource moves from being a young to an established uh, state and, and will hopefully usually spend most of the time there uh, but then for, uh, for for some reasons because for example the technology changes uh, some of the resources may need to move into the stationary and then after that retiring and retired phases and so 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 bio study is really can be particularly useful in these early sort of sunrise and light, late sunset uh, stages of, of a data resource uh, life cycle so some of our future plans, um, uh, we are now concentrating quite a lot on, on improving the, the, the data flow quality, uh, data quality uh, aspects of, of the services that we offer, as well as the, the, the monitoring systems that, that, we, that we need uh, to be able to deal with, uh, with increasing, with increasing uh, uh, data submission volumes. So, so, so these are all more more in, in, inwards facing uh, goals. But then, uh, uh, so also more effort in into integrating with the uh, other sort of scientific uh, data services ecosystem, uh, 
um, um, components uh, uh, are great. For example, that's that's new for us. We will soon have we've started working on exporting our data sets into our crate, and we'll be able to show the first results in, in a few months uh, time. Uh, so then also to to to, to more engage data consumers, we will uh, we will start offering. Uh, Sort of some demonstration Jupyter notebooks sort of how 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 can people programmatically access and analyze data in bio studies and then for data can submitter engagement sort of we, we also need to sort of document that better the adaptable nature of bio studies and how it can support the heterogeneous data management and publishing so one the one more specific uh, uh, item in in the future plan section um uh, in in collaboration with uh, Melissa Harrison and the literature services team at EBI so so this on, on the left this is what happens at the moment uh, you have a PMC team uh, text mines uh, papers uh, and they they extract links uh, and then together with the data files uh, that's a data package that is being served uh, through bio studies um so, so that works now for, for a number of years already. What we are working on is uh, extending that to mining, not only uh, paper, but also the, the data files uh, associated with, uh, with, the, with the paper or perhaps submitted uh, to, directly to bio studies uh, um, before the paper has been uh, uh, has been written. Uh, so then the EuroPMC team again will uh, will offer this text mining service and 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 then uh, then the annotations that are extracted from the data files will be served out both uh, through biostudies and and the EuroPMC interfaces. Uh, thank you very much for your your attention. So so that this is the the, the current biostudies team and our current and and uh, recent uh, funders thank you